What a turn of events. So, $2,000 stimulus checks. It literally just got passed by the um, House of Representatives. Now, it still has to go through the Senate. The thing is, two-thirds uh, and the Republicans run the Senate. So, two-thirds out of majority in the Senate. But two-thirds of the, the House of Representatives didn't vote for, they voted against giving the $2,000 checks, right? So all we basically need is that same ratio. If we get like that that lab that one third of Republicans to vote for the two thousand and then all of the Democrats of course stay on board because they the majority of them voted yes for the uh two thousand dollars. Basically that six hundred dollar check that we were uh gonna get next week is gonna be two thousand instead. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right, so slight update on that uh, check. So the $600, they actually started processing them and sending out the $600 checks. So the it's the 2000 still has to be like uh, voted on by the Senate, but if they do send that, they're going to send an additional $1,400 check. But the, 16, the $600 checks are coming out on time like they were supposed to because they, they just started processing them immediately. So that's good news. I had to literally stop watching Minority Mindset so I can talk about this. McConnell, he rejected the vote to vote today uh, for the $2,000 stimulus check. Again, the $600 is still coming, which means we'll get an additional $1,400 on top of that um, uh, $600. Not at the same time as the $600, but later. So. What they're trying to do right now is position themselves to where they're still fighting over those two damn seats in the Senate. And it's annoying. Like, you really got to take into account. Listen, look at what they're doing. These are the people who suppose, these are the people who killed the economy, put all these people out of work, and then won't even give you a measly $2,000, okay, over the entire summer. Like, they just let people suffer the entire summer. One little check to keep you from rioting. So this lady, a couple days ago, she was going to chemotherapy. She has pancreatic cancer. And you know she would not go and see her family just because uh, of the virus. I told that lady, like, you know you have a limited amount of time left on this earth with pan pancreatic cancer because she was in, like, stage three or something like that. So very, very limited amount of time. And I'm like, you're going to spend that time worrying about something that's as close to the flu and i even got a number so i can send a documentation on you know the virality of it and how like the death rate is like super low but she already knows she's dying and she's letting the media scare her into not seeing her family ending up in a box and not being able to hug her daughter and her grandkids again like it's it's, it's the absurdity of it all like people are ignorant from old to young and it's if this year doesn't show you one thing it's that you are on your own uh, a lot of people I know uh, are dependent on the government and this year they found out that they do not have your best interests at heart okay they only have their own agendas that they want to fulfill and if you want to fall in, that's you know, so that's why all these like programs, food programs, and all these different programs that they have, a lot of people like go against people who. I mean, there are very there are people who actually need these programs, like you know, like welfare and SNAP and all that stuff. But you have to find a way to fend for yourself because if you depend on somebody else, which is what they teach you in school. And which is what they teach you and mold you into and throughout life is how to depend on the government you do not have to depend on the government you and your family depend on yourselves find a way to prosper update stimulus checks so the 600 dollars they sent it out so check y'all bank account some of my friends got their stuff already i have not gotten mine unfortunately but uh, the six hundred dollars they sent out, and they still haven't voted on. Uh, they still have to vote on the fourteen hundred. I think actually today at five o'clock, five p.m. Eastern Standard Time, they're gonna vote on this. So, and if they do that, they're gonna send that out a week later. I think, yeah, a week later. 
So check y'all bank accounts and for the information I've been giving y'all, go ahead cash out me at Bryce Blend. <laughs> Money sign Bryce Blend. It's in a five dollars for all the updates I've been giving y'all, and I'm gonna make sure I keep giving it to you, especially when the 1400 comes, because I know that's what everybody looking forward to. All right, so our most recent update. Chase Bank, they sent out a message to everybody letting them know that they're going to be sending out their checks on January the 1st, New Year's. That wasn't clear on if the checks would be there on New Year's in your account or if it would be there on the second, you know, the day after New Year's when everything is uh, back open or whatever. Meccano, uh also put his own bill into uh he proposed his own bill which still has a two thousand dollars you know bringing it up to two thousand dollars but now what that does is since he's bringing his own bill to the table instead of the bill that's already there that means that we will have to wait uh possibly wait until january the 4th to actually get it voted on to get the 1400 uh sent out to everybody which means the delay for the additional 1400 could be as late as like the second week of january